Bring your hands to prayer in front of your heart, sitting up tall. We'll tune in with the mantra, Om Namo Gurudev Namo. Close your eyes down as well, and then roll them up and in towards the center of your forehead. This is a direct line of communication with our babies, our little ones, so keep those eyes in that place, activating your pituitary gland. We'll chant these sounds, Om Namo Gurudev Namo, recognizing the wisdom within and the wisdom without at the same time. Taking a breath in between. You can listen first and then maybe join in for the last two. Big deep inhale. because we care, right? The baseline of worry is love. You wouldn't worry about something if you didn't love it. You wouldn't worry about the future of your child if you didn't love your child. You wouldn't worry about the future of humanity if you didn't love people. And so instead of focusing on the external result of worry, we're going to bring it back to love and recognize that's the baseline of what's going on here. That's the ultimate driving force of why these other emotions come up anyways. So we'll get ourselves continually back into our heart, back into that space of love, sending that into our little ones, sending that into ourselves as well, so that then we can express that out to the world, even regardless of all that's going on. Yes? So close your eyes down, reach your legs out in front of you. Well, you can watch first with your eyes open and then close them when you get comfortable. Your legs go out, feet on the floor, hands behind you with a little support. If your wrists are sensitive, do fists. Yeah, otherwise just keep your hands down. And start to just wag your knees off side to side. Just breathing comfortably, moving those knees, close the eyes down. And maybe as the knees go one way, the head starts to go the opposite way. So you get a nice big full extension and stretch of your spine. Breathe comfortably in and out through the nose, maybe inhaling on one side, exhaling on the other. The power of now is here now. The power of you, me, is here to create. Move at your own pace. The power of love is here now. The power of now is here now. The power of you, me. To create magic on us. Maybe in between you start to add a little pelvic lift. So as you come back to the center, you'll inhale, lift up your hips, exhale, lower down, inhale to the other side, exhale back to the center. Adding this if it feels good on your spine and your chest. If not, just keep going side to side. Exhale, sit all the way down. 
start to crawl yourself now forward onto your hands and knees, however you get there. Again, if wrists are sensitive, always feel free to use fists or even come to your forearms if that works better. We're going to cat cow with attention on our pelvic floor. So as you inhale, soften your belly down. Be mindful not to come into the biggest extension of your spine since you've got extra weight pulling the belly down. Be really gentle there. And then exhale, hug baby into your spine, bringing the chin and chest in, rounding. Inhale becomes your arch. Exhale becomes your curl. And as you breathe here, also feel as you inhale that your pelvic floor, so the muscles in the base of your pelvis start to relax down and back. And as you exhale, they naturally soften back up into their original position, supporting your baby. Keep flowing with your eyes closed. Let the water wash away your tears. Rolling the eyes up and in as they're closed down. in the jar very connected into your pelvic floor so as we relax that pelvic floor also relax the jaw a couple more rounds start to find your way back into a neutral position with your spine hands plant down Go ahead and extend your right leg back, touch the toes onto the floor, and then just kind of massage back and forth a little bit. So you kind of push back, massage your calf, you can do circles with your ankle or just go back and forth. Really want to keep our circulation healthy during pregnancy, and this is a great way to do it to activate your feet, your calves, your ankles. Just breathe, massage that area out. And keep that right leg extended back, pivot on your left knee so that you come to the side. You can always put a blanket under your knee as well if that's a sensitive area right now. Foot plants down, right hand reaches towards the right leg, inhale left arm up, big side stretch. Exhale as you come back to the center. Inhale, left arm up, right arm open, stretching up and maybe even a little back. Exhale, center. Flowing like this at your own pace. Eyes closed down if that's comfortable. Opening up the ribs, making more space for baby to grow, to expand. Few more times back and forth. with the arm a little bit, about three or four circles. And then bring that right hand all the way down, find your way back into a tabletop at the front of your mat. Send that left leg back, touch the toes down, and again, a little massage of the ankle, circles. 
Close the eyes, maybe just back and forth, breathing long and deep. Keeping that left leg straight, you can pivot to the other side of the mat. I'll come around to face you. Left leg extends, standing up on that right knee. Left hand reaches towards the left leg. Right arm up and over as you inhale, stretching. Exhale, coming back to the center. Right hand planting down and inhale, stretching, even pressing your pelvis forward. Get a little gentle arch back. Exhale, come back through to the center. Flow at your pace. Keep your eyes closed down so that you stay in that inner space. Keep them rolled up and in so that you're connected to your little one, letting them move and breathe with you, letting them enjoy these sensations as much as you are. Circling is fine. We'll start to bring the left hand all the way back down to the mat, coming into a, a tabletop position. Hands down, you can move the hips a little side to side. Just breathe, kind of wag out your tail here. Hands plant firmly onto the floor. We'll tuck our toes to come to downward dog. Just stand all the way up. So just as a transition, you can reach your hips back, relax your head down, and then walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Keep your knees bent here and head relaxed. And then use your hands to walk up the legs. You have the support of your hands, legs are bent, head is down, just walk all the way up. Finding your way into a standing pose, stand tall, close your eyes for a moment. Just take some long deep breaths, standing tall, eyes are closed down. Palms can face forward. Take a big deep inhale in. Exhale the air out. Start to separate your feet a little bit wider here. So they're about as wide as your shoulders. Your knees can bend. Hands will come forward onto your knees. We'll start with a gentle twist. So as you inhale, you can reach your right shoulder in. Little twist. Exhale, center. Inhale, switch to the left shoulder. Exhale, switch. Just breathe and get that gentle twist, that opening in your low back. Eyes are closed and rolled up and in. If your hands hurt too, you can try this on your elbows maybe. It's a little bit deeper sensation, so see if that feels good or not. Start to add in an 
arm here. So if you're on your elbows, you can try it there or come back up to your hands. As you inhale, you'll sweep your arm around and then exhale, come to the center. Inhale, sweep, opening the chest, exhale, center. Really open to the side as you go. If you like this on elbows too, you can stay on elbows, that's fine. But really circle that arm as far around and back as you can as you move and breathe. Keep the knees nice and bent, nice strong foundation here. Two more times each side. And come back to the center, both elbows or hands down. Drop your head for a moment. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, start to bend into the legs and roll all the way up to standing. Eyes stay closed. Take a moment, just breathe, connect. Maybe your hands come onto your belly. Feeling your little one inside, moving with you, breathing with you. Feeling that special connection that you share. We'll get ready here for our Kulsa Way squats. So this is an exercise we do in every Kulsa Way class. We'll come forward, ideally, hopefully you have a sticky mat at home because we're gonna roll it up. Be sure that you're mindful as you come down, use your hands for support, bend into your mat so that you can roll it, ideally at least halfway. Especially if you got a thin mat like me, I need to roll it even more than halfway. So it should be a nice, you know, solid foundation for you to stand on. Your heels will go onto the mat and your toes come onto your floor in front of you. Take your feet about as wide as your shoulders. The reason we elevate our heels is so that our pelvis can stay neutral when we squat. We don't want it to tuck under or stick out. We want it to stay really neutral, okay? So I'll show you one first. You're inhaling, bringing the arms all the way up. Hands will connect in a prayer at the top. As you exhale, bend into your knees, sitting your hips down. Try to keep your hips underneath you. Don't stick them out, yeah? Keep them going all the way down until you get to the lowest point of your squat with your hips down. Your hands then come onto the floor. About 50% of your weight comes into the hands. Head relaxes forward. And then press into the hands. Keep the knees bent. Head relaxes down as you roll all the way up to standing with your legs bent. When you reach the top, you can straighten them out. Mamas, if you're over 34 weeks and you know that your baby is feet down, try a half squat to give them some more space to kind of move around, spin around before they come out, yes? So half squat, you're, you'll do the exact same thing, arms come up, you'll go all the way down, but this time you'll stop right about halfway and hands press onto your knees. Head still relaxes, knees stay bent as you roll up, it's the same thing, yes? So ideally, we do 15, okay? Do your best today. If 10 works today, it's a short practice, so it's okay, but try to get through 15 if you can. Here we go, mamas. Move and breathe, connect to your own pace. And then bring to take weight into your hands about 50%. Keep your knees bent until you get all the way up to standing. Use the strength of your legs to come up, not your low back. This is the day when I throw it all away 
keep moving at your pace with your breath. Trust in the strength of your legs to keep supporting you, to keep yourself grounded, steady, strong. Remembering that that foundation we're building is love. That's the baseline of everything that we're feeling, everything that we're going through is all baseline at love. Strengthening that foundation of love as we move, as we breathe, as we connect to our bodies, as we connect to our power of being a woman, of being a mother. And recognizing that this too shall pass, yeah, nothing lasts forever. Keep working through those squats so you get through all 15 if you can. Take it easy and slow. If you need to slow it down for those last few, take it easy. It's all good. Use the power of your breath to get through the last few squats. When you do finish, just stand tall with your hands by the sides, keep your eyes closed. You might even bring your hands onto your belly or onto your heart. Stand tall, breathe, connect. Sing along to the words. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Singing to our little ones. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. to bring yourself off of your rolled mat. You can kick it out in front of you to un unroll it, separate it all the way down. And then we'll stay standing here for our keep up exercises. So these exercises help us to build that mental strength, that determination to keep going through discomfort, to feel the sensations of challenge arising and to persevere through them, both in labor, in life, as mothers, as women, as everything that we embody in this life, finding that ability to withstand discomfort and mentally overpass it. Arms are going to come out to the sides today, palms are going to face up. And you're just gonna pulse in this position for three minutes. Close your eyes down, roll them up and in. We'll begin together. And just keep those hands pulsing, keep your eyes closed, breathe comfortably. Let your arms get into a little rhythm here. And it's almost as if your arms take care of themselves, yeah? Kind of disconnect from your doing and let the doer do it, you know what I mean? Like let go from all the sensations that you're controlling your body. Let your body just be moved. Be receptive to that movement and just breathe. Let it happen. Let the discomfort arise. Don't ignore it. 
but don't attach on to it either. It's not totally you. It's just discomfort. It's okay. Breathe. Keep it up. Eyes roll up and in, into the center of the forehead. Let your baby move those arms with you. It's not just you. You guys are a team. You're working together. You're both ready to overcome this discomfort. You're both ready to persevere, to be resilient, to be strong. Let them empower you as you empower them. One minute and a half to go. Breathe deeper as it starts to become more challenging. Okay, less than a minute to go, mamas. You got it. Find that strength to keep moving through, to keep those arms up. Find all that willpower, all that determination that you have inside. Breathe a little deeper. 30 seconds. Feel that empowerment. Trusting in your capacity to overcome, your capacity to be strong, to be resilient, to persevere through any challenge that comes your way in motherhood, in life. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale the air out. Find your way into a comfortable seat for meditation. If you'd like to utilize a pillow or a blanket to sit on, to sit a little taller, that's totally fine. If your belly is getting bigger and you want diamond shape with the legs for more space, that's also okay. Or even sitting on your knees, anything that works, yeah? Spine will sit up nice and tall. Hands will come into like a little cup in front of us. This meditation will help us get in more to that baseline of love and let that negative mind, so our protective mind, which is important, we need that, but let it get balanced into a way where it's understanding, it's comprehensive, it understands that the negative mind, the fear, the worries, the anxiety is coming from a space of love. So we're recognizing the power of those emotions and what they really are. Hands come into this little cup resting in front of your heart. Your eyes are open and looking into that space between the hands. And you'll inhale through your nose, exhaling through an O-shaped mouth and let the wind hit your hands. So you're like blowing into your hands. You might not totally feel it, that's okay. But visualize that wind hitting the hands. Keep going here for a couple minutes. Into the 
even play in a place the Lord But you don't really care for music, do ya? We won't like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall The major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah 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 breath let those worries come back into that baseline of love that baseline of understanding that you're worried because you care Your faith was strong but you need it proved so one more minute here on the roof her beauty in the moonlight over through ya she tied you to her kitchen chair she broke your throne, she cut your hair And from your lips she drew a hallelujah 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 in through the nose exhale out through the mouth pause for a moment with the breath out just a moment and then again inhale in exhale all the air out take a pause and then again, inhale in. Exhale, the air all the way out. Pausing. Inhale in again. Exhale, let the hands rest onto the knees. Close the eyes now and just sit tall. Breathe, connect. Feel that energy of love radiating out. That care you have for yourself, for your child, for your family. Recognizing the power of that love, of that care. Recognizing that desire to protect from that space and the power that has as well. Big deep inhale in. Exhale, start to find your way into a Shavasana position. So if you want to lay all the way down on your back, if it's still early in pregnancy, otherwise you can lay onto your left side. You can place a pillow or blanket in between your knees to get comfortable, lay all the way down and enjoy these few moments of rest. Resting deeply, letting yourself absorb our benefits of our practice. Let the breath go, let the control go.
elbows, press into the arms if you're on your side, just slowly sit up. If you're on your back, be sure to roll to your left side before you sit up, pressing into the arms. We'll sit all the way back up into a comfortable seat. We'll sing one final song together. May the long time sun shine upon you. Just singing one time, hands in prayer, let's send out this prayer of sunshine, of light, of love to all living beings, to our families, to our friends, to each other. Finishing with Satnam, true name, true identity. Eyes are closed and rolled up in it. taking this time for yourselves, for your little ones to connect, to breathe, to open up into love. Sat down.